All right, today I'm really excited to talk to you about the free to air channel. All right, today I'm really excited to talk to you about the free to air channels, the in the clear free satellite TV channels. So I'm gonna go through uh, on tvrosat.com's lists of channels that are free and in the clear. And so we'll take a look at that. So the website I'm gonna look at is tvrosat.com and you'll go, go under charts and you can see all the free satellite TV channels that are listed there. And also you can go to linksat.com i've uh, done a video on that before too but that was a couple of years ago things have changed up a little bit with channels on the uh, satellite so so we'll go take a look at that so i have i'll be going through the c band channels and the ku band channels and just a heads up this might be a little bit of a long-winded video so All right, today I'm really excited to talk to you about the free to air channels, the in the clear. All right, so for whatever reason, it's playing the wrong file every time I go to play it for, I don't know why that is. Uh, hi, welcome to the live stream. I had a presentation here that I wanted to play and it keeps playing this wrong file, so. That, that was not what I selected. Hmm. VLC is giving me some issues uh, today. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't call it that file. Maybe, okay, mistakenly put that on here. No one's on yet, eh? There's a few uh, people on here. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, so I modified it. There we go. This file. Maybe I just because the spelling was weird. Okay, I'm going to restart this. <laughs> Stay right here. I'm just going to uh cut to this uh clip oh that was my ending I botched that up all right well i'll play this and i'll be right back These satellites that um, go around the Earth, they're in what are called a geostationary or geosynchronous orbit. So they, the satellites fly above the equator. So they'll fly, uh, they'll fly above the uh, parallel of the Earth. So for example, 87 West will be at 87 degrees on, on the globe. So the satellites fly about 22,000 miles above the equator on the Earth and just fly like it as the Earth turns, it stays in a synchronous orbit so that it, so the satellite can, the dish antenna could just stay in the uh, same spot all the time. But one thing about satellites is that, for example, 97 West cannot be received. It can only re be received in parts of the world where it is flying above and looking down at. So for 97 West, 
pretty much works for North America, North and South America. You can't get it in Europe or in Asia or other places like that because as the satellite's flying above the Earth, it's looking at this part of the Earth here. Now the other Eastern Hemisphere satellites, we can't get in North America. So if you see satellites that are um, 28 East or whatever, you can't get them the there for uh, Asia and Africa and Europe. They get on the Eastern part of the hemisphere. How a live television broadcast is sent. I'll give you an example using 55 West. A live TV program can be uplinked from North America and go up to 55 West and then there, which is considered a transatlantic satellite. So it's flying above out in space and it receives uh, from North America and then sent back down to Europe. And some of these television programs can be relayed back up and go around the world. So it's really a matter of relaying the TV signals back and forth a few times around the earth through different satellites and uplink stations on the earth. And if you're wondering where to find the satellites that you're looking for, go to satbeams.com and you can look at the footprint of the satellite that you're interested in so say you wanted to look at galaxy 19 for information on on that satellite you click on that and it will show you the footprint of where galaxy 19 is primarily focused on with layers indicating the size of di dish antenna that you'll need another good place to go to is tvrosat.com click on the satellite charts and you'll see the latest updates on any changes that may have happened to different um, satellite transponders or, or new channels that are up on free to air. All right, hey guys, it's uh, Robbie Strike here uh, on the live stream. I had a few technical glitches. I was just basically came down here. Okay, let's do the live stream and setting up OBS and all the stuff that you would go wrong with live video. Delayed me a few minutes here. So today I am uh, just doing the present presentation on free to air satellite explain what free to air is. For those that don't know, free to air is getting free satellite uh, TV channels that are unencrypted. So there is several channels that are encrypted, but there is lots of channels that are unencrypted. You can find it uh, if you go look at them up on Linksat or on tvrosat.com. And uh, how much does it cost? Can you buy a brand new C-band satellite dish? Well, you can get one at Tech 2000, and I'll show you their website here. Now, you can, you can also get a brand new C-band satellite dish over at, well, I, that's the only place I know where you can get a brand new one. You can get solid C-band satellite dishes, but not like a pole mount that would work on an actuator. A lot of them are fixed uh, C-band setups. So here, I'll, I'll cut to the uh, Tech 2000s page here. There we go. All right, so this is Tech 2000. So when they the mesh dishes, the thing about them is they come in panels, kind of like a pie-shaped panel. And that, that's really good if you're, I, I selected the 10 footer. I, I actually have an eight footer. Uh, they have options here on their website for whatever size dish you want. If I could and had the the possibility, I would go with a 10 footer, but my yard, uh, the amount of space it takes up, my yard's not very big. And I am able to get about 90% of all the transponders with my eight footer. So, with the add-ons, that's where it really hits you is the add-ons to a satellite dish. You'll need a, uh, an extra pole. You know, be, you, these things here, you can also scrapyard, um, possibly find them in a scrapyard, maybe a little bit cheaper uh, for the pole of the, of the dimensions that you'll need. Uh, the actuators. Now, on my mesh dish, the mesh dish is really not that heavy. So I got a 24-inch actuator, and I'm able to reach the whole arc uh, with the 24 inch actuator and actually I think I have room to play around with so there's the positioner the super power jack positioner I'm just going to cut back to the video here so I got one here so how it's just to explain how things work with uh, c-band dish is I got a positioner here. What this is, it's just basically like a box that power controls your actuator. And it has, let's get it in the shot there. 
Uh, four plugs. I actually have a trailer plug because I like going, taking it outside and playing around with it. And so it has four wires, which I'll, you'll have to get four extra wires for a C-band dish to run to the uh, out to the actuator to power it. So two of the wires are for the power to move it back and forth. And the other two is because it has a read sensor. So what the read sensor does is tells you where the actuator is on the spot of your satellite dish. So that's another thing you'll need uh, if you want to have a C-band dish and have it. Now, you can manually crank it. And I've known people, they've used old analog satellite receivers that used to have the, uh, the dish mover part built into the satellite receiver. But these days, it tends to be satellite receivers are just basically a little tiny set-top box. I got one, you can see it right here in the shot. This, uh, this is my Edison Mayo box, which is a small, small uh, little satellite receiver. It's not like the huge tanks that they were. And it's probably because this is actually much heavier because it has all of the... Uh, all of the um, power and all that stuff to move it. Now, you can set these up. I don't do it this way, but you can set it up with uh, Dissect 2 commands, whatever, Dissect commands. It says it right here on, on the on the box. Dissect commands. So what would happen here is you plug your uh, receiver here and in your LMB here, and you can use your receiver to control that so you don't have to mess around with a remote or anything like that on this. I actually prefer to manually control my satellite dish so I can kind of watch the signal quality while I'm bringing the dish um, back and forth. And plus, depends on your satellite receiver too. And the one thing I hate about satellite receivers is sometimes you get in the wrong menu and it goes from alphabetical order. So you got your satellite dish just going wing, 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 all over the place. So that's one of the reasons why I don't bother using this because the satellite receiver will just move it to whatever channel, go alphabetical, and then just, just every time you change the channel, the dish is moving, which is really annoying. So I don't bother with that. With that. So this is the dish positioner. Uh, I don't know if they have it here on the website, but I just wanted to go through, over what the positioner is and what it does. So I'll just set this down here. And I use that one for my uh, four-foot dish because the four-foot dish has a little actuator on it as well. So other things you'll need, uh, extra cable. Uh, sometimes there's positioner cable. I have, uh, when I got Black Beauty, I got a whole whack of positioner cable that is mixed in with RG6 coax. Uh, some of these will have that. Contact Tech 2000 if you're interested in buying some positioner cable and coax cable. So no, it's, so yeah, the positioner cable. Now I've used speaker wire any wire, as long as it's you know thick enough gauge wire uh, to send the power for it. The reed sensor wire is really thin wire, so I, I don't know what gauge it would be, but it, it's the thinner wire where the um, where the other. So if you get like four wire from uh, hardware store, Princess Auto, or someplace like that, you you find a deal on wire, uh, you can go with that. You might get a cheaper deal than over at Tech Two Thousand. Just basically four wires strand together. Uh, coaxial cable, uh, they sell it here. Actually, they're selling RG11, low loss RG11. A lot of people recommend RG11 as opposed to RG6. Maybe I will upgrade at some point, but I am using all RG6 and uh, still doing okay. But maybe uh, if I were to upgrade, I think I would try to upgrade to RG11. If someone wants to send me a spool of RG11 to, <laughs> to uh, test and show you a comparison if there's a uh, increase and over at tech 2000 you can buy a edison mayo satellite receiver and uh, i think that's the whole kit of things you'll need you'll need um, for a c-band setup you'll need a uh, receiver of course uh, now the price of this receiver this is the rolls royce receiver right this the edison mayo it um, has lots of bells and whistles but you can also pick up an Amico uh, receiver too, which doesn't have as many bells and whistles, but in some ways I find it is a little cheaper. And I wish Tech 2000 carried like a, an Amico like receiver just for people that are not as tech savvy and don't want to, um, just with the tech savviness of this, it can be a, a little bit uh, daunting. Coaxial cable, yeah, so you'll need you know, receiver, coaxial cable. Positioner cable, a positioner, uh, 
a actuator, and I just went with the smaller uh, actuator. I actually have a 36 inch. If anyone, if anyone lives nearby and wants a 36 inch actuator, I have my old one and it was too big for my needs. So I got it for Black Beauty and Black Beauty is in somewhere else, probably a scrapyard heaven. Uh, linear, oh yeah, your LMB. So these are things that you might want to take into account if you're picking up a, a used satellite dish. LMB, you might need to get a new one of those. Dish positioner, you may need a new one of those just because they kind of were weathered badly. And yeah, so the actuator and dish positioner. Uh, pull mount, uh, those should usually, if you're getting a secondhand dish, you might get lucky and be able to get one of those. So let's uh, cut back to the camera. So hey guys. And I got some people in the chat room, uh, and I haven't read the chat, so I've pinned. Uh, uh, looking at this. How do I get to the chat room? Go to my web browser here. Everyone saying, uh, Patrick saying, Sorry, uh, I'm late. Damn, I was late to. I was late today. To anyway, I was <laughs> setting up my OBS, and so for the live, if anyone watches the replay, I may try to cut off the first bit off the replay. I know I can do that on YouTube, but on Facebook and on Twitch and the other pl platforms that I'm streaming to. But I'm looking at YouTube right now, so if you are on Facebook or if you're on Twitch, uh, the chat room right here is the one that is, let's cut to it here. The chat room, the chat room is uh, from the YouTube chat room, so if you want to come chat with me, I'm going to have a sip of my tea and I'll read some of the comments. So Pat and Patrick are in here. How far East, can I go with my actuator? East, so going west. East is, yeah, east is, I can receive 43, whatever one has the the, um, the KU band uh, transponders, because I had a CKU band LMB before, but I'm not running a CKU band LMB now. And my color on OBS is all screwed up because I was using OBS this week to use this thing, an old capture card. <laughs> I was doing some uh, game capture with my Atari XE. I just did a video about the Atari XE and it threw everything off. <laughs> and I'm using my camcorder because I know it's easier to adjust all the coloring on that, but it's just going in, in here really weird. North Coast Workshop, how's it going? Patrick says, get better RF plugs. Um, do you mean like, uh, can I pull that thing into the shot? The, or if you can see on the shot here, I got a Crypt RG6 plug. See, that's, yeah, that's where I'm, I never see, when you go to a hardware store or anywhere, I never see RG8 plugs, I see RG6. I've never seen RG8 <laughs> anywhere. So what am I going to have to do? Like, basically, the receiver has an RG6 plug-in. Yeah, and I'll, so basically, you're going all the way RG8, RG11, and then all of a sudden, you're RG6, and you're connected to your receiver. I, yeah, so whatever that is. Did I ever mess with the C? Uh, Casey asked, uh, did you ever mess around with those C-band dishes and the scramblers? Well, I have a C-band dish in my backyard, and I use C-band every day. Um, the, the scramblers, um, everything was used to be analog, and they used to scramble everything. Now it's what uh, the technical term would be encrypted. There's a lot of programs that are encrypted that are not in the clear. They're usually encrypted with uh, DigiCypher or PowerView or BISKey or something like that. And uh, so I'm not able to receive it with this receiver because, because of the encryption. But I have seen channels where you scan them in and it says that it's encrypted and then it's in the clear. 
So there's always um, sometimes you want to check through the channels that say they're scrambled because even though they say they're scrambled, they still come in at times. And that's where you got to go through every channel. But many people in the chat room, people in the uh, other room too. So we don't promote piracy here just for legal reasons. Uh, what we're promoting is true free to air, free and in the clear stuff, which is fair for anyone to get. Uh, when people are asking about um, that type of stuff, go to your n n nearest police officer. I don't know, not a police officer wouldn't even, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, go ask that. Call Dish Network and ask them how to get it. Yeah, don't ask me. <laughs> Too bad a C-band actuator. I guess there's not enough uh, power on a C-band actuator lughead. So he's asking, can, you know, and that's another thing. I just want to show you my motor. Not the motor, but the box for the motor. So I got my box in the color and this is awful. So this is the box my motor came in. It's a disc Q motor. So this, with KU band, it makes it so much easier because there's just less things you have to do. But then there's less programming on KU band. But if you have like a, a 36 inch KU band dish, you can put one of these motors on. I have a whole video uh, where I set one of these up on the tripod that I did this summer. So I encourage you to check that out because that's a full, almost like a full A to Z, uh, how to set up a free to air satellite system. Even if you're not setting up a motor to start, it's uh, there's a lot of helpful information on that video on how to set up uh, one of these motors and what goes into putting in one of these. And I, and I do really like one of these for starting into free to air because you can get the full arc and there is a lot of programming on KU band. The problem is with some some satellites, it's like there's like a few channels on one satellite and then another channel, they may be one channel. And then another satellite, you'll get 97 West, you'll have 200 channels, but they're foreign language and religious channels and maybe a couple of news channels like RT. And CNC World is gone, which is sad. I haven't seen CNC World. I don't know if they've moved or what, but I can't get CNC World anymore, which I guess... It's kind of gone downhill from what it was a couple of years ago anyway. CNC World used to be like a kind of a go-to news channel to see what's going on. And then it became like they just played videos all the time of China and they didn't have the economy report and all that. So I went back to watching, well, I watched Galaxy 16's news channel. The news channel that's better, better than Fox, better than CNN. <laughs> There's a few comments here. North Coast uh, says, I set up two 10-footers stationary fixed at 97 and 101. I wonder even with a, if you did have a LMB uh, mount split thing, you'd be able to get both with the same dish. Somebody posted on our Facebook group, the North American Free to Air Satellite Group over on Facebook, and if you're not a member of that, please join. Uh, we have a, a lot of open discussion there if you're on Facebook. I'd like, to, I'm moving around on different platforms as well. I'm on Parler. I'm on Minds, which is another, it's kind of like Facebook Minds. Parler is like, I was using, I started Parler and it's like Twitter. And I hate Twitter. I never liked Twitter. Twitter was what all the celebrities were on and pushed, and I didn't care about like a lot of the stuff on Twitter. Most of the time, you can follow people and follow everything on Facebook as well. But anyway, you know, uh, and I, I'm not impressed with Facebook with their their one sided censorship and you know what they decide to. Uh, these fact checkers are have uh, an agenda and one side, and I and I find that's. Um, not fair to give everyone the story with a, like an AFP fact checker. Anyway, I won't get too much into that. But I am on Parler, and I am on Gab, and I am on uh, Minds, and I'm on BitChute, all these smaller social media places. So if you type my name in there, you'll probably find me there. Don Neris says, greetings from Canton, Ohio, U.S. Cool. 
got people all over the place from coast to coast. I didn't open up um, uh, Discord yet. I'm pretty much, I'll open up the Discord chat. <laughs> Part of it, I was still messing around with OBS so much today, I didn't even turn on Discord. Uh, North Coast says, who needs to pirate when there is so much good free stuff? And that's part of the hobby that I like about it. And you got to look at this as a hobby, too. Uh, if you're looking to get, like, for it to replace your stuff, it might not be the hobby for you. Like, uh, C-Band is great, um, but, like, well, if you live in the United States, Canada, we're a <laughs> lost cause here. But if you live in the United States and you watch TV with an antenna... If you live in a big city area, you can get like hundreds of free uh, over-the-air channels. So what happens with a lot of those channels, the DigiNets, a lot of them are on C-Band. And there's like hundreds of them on C-Band. And lots of good free stuff. There's MeTV. There's Cozy TV. All, you know, all these retro TV channels, except for Antenna TV. But luckily, I get Antenna TV with my antenna. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy about that. But with the recent events, I've been watching a lot of news, and I'm being glued to news and not watching TV entertainment, even wrestling. I watch Monday Night Raw and SmackDown, but I, it's, uh, I'm not as much into it as I used to be. Patrick says, RG8 plugs are used by hams, so, yep. And Patrick, another not, not thing about that, too, is I could probably find RG8 plugs on eBay. You can find anything on eBay. I encourage everyone, use eBay. I don't know why Amazon is <laughs> the way I like, and maybe if there's another site I could recommend for the stuff, but I find I could find a lot of the stuff on eBay better than even on Amazon. There's all express. I've ordered some stuff from there, but Lughead says I'm hooking up my KU dish today. Just came off the roof. For the live show, cool. Well, hopefully you have success with uh, getting your KU bish, uh, KU band dish up and going. Uh, I don't know what satellite you're going for. Let us know in, in the comments. I what I always say is uh, when you're trying to get Galaxy 19, the transponder, the 128, 160, whatever it is, uh, look it up on Linksite that has Russia Today RT. That's probably one of the most powerful, easier to lock satellites. I'll hold like a Shaw Direct dish and I'll have it on that transponder and I'll just hold it in my arms and uh, and, and lock onto it. Um, Pat Milcoach. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Pat. Uh, anyway, I'll call you Pat. Um, CBS is back on 91. They come and go on 91 a lot. Uh, CBS, and I, I guess you're talking about KU Ban or C Ban. I know um, CBS, CBS and Fox were on KU Ban on 91 West for quite some time, and then they went away. And they kind of now they're come and go and come and go. I wish they would stay. I wish we got all of the broadcast networks so we get like one of the feed somewhere on KU Ban. Just so that we can get like for areas that might not have my area doesn't didn't have an NBC affiliate until just a couple of years ago they opened up a new NBC station with and now they have a whole whack of uh, digi nets. North Coast said I thought about multiple MB uh, LMBs. No, to try yeah I mean it's worth a try eh? uh, if you got a good meter um, you might be able to lock everything. Pat says, yeah, uh, yes, it's on KU band, comes in. He, I can tell he's talking about KU band when he's talking about a 90 centimeter, a 36 inch dish, around 36 inch, around three feet. I don't have my measuring tape here, but basically what I got outside there, what I put the motor on. <clears throat> Dan Pete says, why don't you get into Dish Network dropping next star channels when you use a TV antenna to get local channels? So I don't know how that works with Dish Network. Uh, they have like a bunch of locals and they're always dropping locals. And how that works, from what I understand, is the local broadcast, they want more money. So they go to Dish Network, give me more money. 
or we're, or we're pull, you know, we, uh, you can't be on our service. You can't rebroadcast. And then the broadcast, and then they'll say Dish Network's dropping us. There's kind of like this play on words that happen. Uh, in that industry, you see that a lot. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you see a lot of channels come and go. I don't know if Viacom is off one of it. Was it Direct or Dish? A few years ago, they dropped that. A few years ago, ESPN dropped, and everyone was switching from another satellite provider. If you're in the States or if you're in Canada and you want subscription satellite, what I always say is play them against each other. Have a, have a for here in Canada, have a Bell dish and a Shaw dish, or or just have a dish for both, and you and then have the mount, and you can switch between services. Who's, whoever's going to give you the best deal, go with them. Now, the way I, w I work, I'm a purist. I want what's free. I don't want to pay anything. It was like that way for years until just recently, until COVID hit. And uh, for my family, I got Netflix, and then we got we tried Disney Plus, and we still have it at this point. I got Disney Plus again because The Mandalorian. I wanted to see the new episodes of that. So I'm enjoying that. That's my main reason for getting Disney Plus. But my kids enjoy Disney Plus as well. But even if you didn't want to have one of those services... There's a ton of videos on YouTube that are free. So I was um, next star. Patrick asks, sorry, I'm going to read this off. I don't understand, but I'll read it. Maybe someone else who understands what Patrick's asking here. So do you know who made Dish with LMB at the bottom for the public back in early 90s? And they never saw such a dish. I don't know what you're talking about. But someone knows what Patrick's talking about or to clarify. Dan Pete says California gets a lot of free-to-air channels on TV antenna. Yeah, it depends on the, how big the area is. There is a lot of over-the-air TV channels <clears throat> because there's so many DigiNets. And with ATSC3 coming, that just means because the new standard will have Havoc H265. So to put that in perspective, with uh, ATSC1, which is the uh, current broadcast standard, you can fit about maybe f uh, seven channels. You can fit about seven channels, but then you get pixelation. It depends on the more channels they are, the more pixelation there is. So with Havoc H265, that just allows you to compress the signal more. And they're still using, with ATSC1, they're still using MPEG-2. Not MPEG-4, but MPEG-2. This is a standard that was developed over 20 years ago. So even when you were watching this video, this is H264. And um, So the broadcast standard has not come up to date with the technology. So... ATSC one was ro was rolled out, and now we're going to go into ATSC three, and they'll be able to fit more channels in there and all these features. But the privacy concerns are what bother me, and someone who enjoys getting American TV because I'm so close to the border, I don't want to be have to connected to the internet. Well, I got a VPN, but I don't want to be connected to the internet or have to be signed up with an account to watch TV. You know, I just want to be able to you know pop up an antenna and watch tv like in a camper anywhere and that's what has always been great about over the air tv but what what we had here in canada is where they wanted you to be registered to watch tv same thing that's always gone on in uh, the uk and britain you've all needed like a tv license and all this stuff north coast says i love the, loves the diginets i love diginets they're great Dan Pete, I get Antenna TV too. Like the Antenna TV channel. I love that channel. I didn't watch it this morning. Mork and Mindy is like one of the shows uh, that's uh, fun to check out. Uh, Ginto says... IDK eBay still gives me the stigma of scams. Why I stick with Amazon? I thought eBay um, they have like a seller um, 
recommend uh, approval, I guess. Like if somebody scams people on eBay, eBay will remove their account pretty quickly, is from what I understand. And I'm doing some business like um, Antenna Man did a video to uh, this last this week last week uh, where he talked about the guy that builds his own antennas in somewhere in the, uh, the south. Um, anyway, if you watch that video. Um, there's a guy that builds antennas. He has videos on YouTube where um, he talks about uh, his uh, bow tie antennas that he builds. And so he, he actually sells them on eBay and they're uh, made in America. Uh, so it's. Um, but he sells them on eBay. And, and eBay allows that man. I forget his name. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. Um, Allows them to make a bit of, you know, a living, extra money on top of doing other things, building antennas. So that's, that's pretty cool. You know, you get products made uh, in the USA that are being sold on eBay. So uh, that's one of the good, one, one of the pro and positive things you got to say about eBay. North Coast says, work, Workshop says, California can still probably pull in 170 channels with an antenna. I wish I can get three over the air. So that's <laughs> that's the contrast between Canada and the California. Yeah, it's um, there's a lot more options for broadcast TV. That's why on C-Band, there are so many channels on C-Band because there's all of those uh, feeds that are on, on TV. Let me show you. Lughead says, Galaxy 19, I guess. I have full dish rotation in clear skyline east to west. I don't know if he's talking about like a KU band dish. But yeah, if Galaxy 19, or, or just being able to have a view, uh, which is good. It's good uh, when I surveyed uh, to get a C-band dish set up. I put my dish like, in that spot. There was actually a... Um, before I set up my C-band dish. There used to be like a one of those tent garages when I first bought our house here. And I removed that because it was right in the spot where we want to have a garden and all that too. So it's like a satellite garden. <laughs> my wife's uh, uh, area is the garden and I'm planting more dishes and I want to plant another dish in there <laughs> instead of having it on the deck. <laughs> and I planted the four-footer in there and... Uh, <laughs> So the garden is becoming, we're, we're harvesting a lot more satellite dishes. <laughs> North Coast Workshop says, I managed to pick up a brand new Shaw Newfoundland size uh, dish for $30 on Kijiji, hoping, hoping to set it up for KU Band. Yeah, those more northern dishes, I don't know how big they are, not 75 inch, I don't know, whatever they are. But they're bigger than your regular, like the most of the Shaw Direct dishes you get here in Ontario. And that will work a little bit better for those weaker uh, KU band signals. You'll be able to watch the information war on Galaxy 19 <laughs> a lot easier with one of those dishes than, say, um, uh, than uh, with my 36-inch or, or I use my 4-footer to get uh, the information war channel. That's actually a pretty good price too. Thirty dollars for a decent. Uh, th those are pretty decent satellite dishes. I'm not sure if you can stick one of those on a motor. I think you know, I think it can, but I don't know if it will work. I don't know if you get the full arc uh, with one of those dishes. Because sometimes, like with the two LM LMBs, because those Shaw dishes have two different LMBs on them. What so one's like nine degrees. Um, I think it's nine degrees to get the satellite neighboring it. So with so, for example, 107 West, would Shaw would typically pick up, and 111 West, uh, and then they'll use one dish to pick up two different satellites. Marco Droid asks, uh, hello, thanks for your contributions and tutorials. You're quite welcome. I'm happy to do them. I, 
I'm so happy to talk about satellite. <laughs> in the satellite world, a question is with uh, Dish Direct TV, uh, Dish, Discs, Dish, you know, Dish, uh, changing the LMB, can you hunt KU band? Thanks. Uh, you can, but uh, I don't do a tutorial on that because I know there's some trickier things to do that. Um, there's a guy that did a tutorial on YouTube like, like 10 years ago. Uh, he used to, I haven't heard from him in a while. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know if I should look him up now or not. I, I meant to look him up and I'm always so busy and I don't get a chance to see if he's still around. Uh, he's done a tutorial on how to do that. But it's got to move it a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's something I don't want to mess around with. So I don't. <laughs> My recommendation is just buy a dish that has the LMB holder bracket. But you can buy, like, a LMB bracket off of the Internet. But I tried that, and then it didn't work. Like, I like getting a bracket that I bought, and I tried it on a Shaw Direct dish, and it didn't work because the focal point was not where it should have been so look at was it prime star with the lmb in the bottom i can't remember there's several dif different uh dishes and also some of those ku band dishes are commercial commercial uh grade dishes Dan Pete says one of one local channel here has six sub channels. There are there two of them channels are poor quality. Yeah, the p pixelation uh, when you're uh, doing all that, it can uh, really cut in. Danny Ho Hoags, thank you, Dan Pete. That's the guy on YouTube. Type his name on YouTube. Uh, Tyler did a video about him. He built Danny Hoags is the guy who builds antennas, and you know he's got one of those southern twangs, which I really like. I don't know. There's this thing about northerners that don't like southern accents. I think they're cool. Maybe it's Canadians think southern accents are cool. I, I think it's pretty cool listening to him talk and his twang. Like I got an Ottawa Valley accent, so I'm like the uh, I'm like the hick. A hick guy here in Canada. That's like our hick accent here. Is the 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 Ottawa down there in the Ottawa Valley down there, eh? Dish firm. Okay, sorry. Patrick says I meant to say that VHS video I sent uh, you shows a ten footer. Oh yes, yes, uh, that video you posted there. With the uh, the strange looking dish, but yeah, all the cool equipment. I wish more people documented the satellite stuff from back in those days. North Coast says I got Infowars uh, locked on a small um, Shaw dish that would be on Galaxy sixteen ninety nine West. Um, yeah, uh, I gotta try it because I, I I redid my shed because like I have, my shed's really packed right now, so I have some satellite dishes. I have a few extra Shaw Direct dishes. Does anyone live in Kingston and want uh, want to um, send me a message? Uh, I'll be like, as long as you're not crazy, you know, far for me to drive, I'll set you up. But I'm not. I'm not going to drive. I'm not going to drive to Toronto or to Ottawa or someplace like that. Yeah, so yeah, I get 99 and 95. 95 with the same dish. That's the thing with the Shaw dishes. You can, yeah, lock it on. I think I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to, maybe I'll do a video on that. I'll, I'll talk about 99. <clears throat> CNC, uh, somebody says CNC Mux. Um, I think CNC is gone, but I think there is a Chinese broadcast channel, CCTV, GCTV, whatever it is now. Um, Joel Lamas, I live in Vancouver. Can I get any feeds from Mexico this far north? Uh, so which satellite? Thank you. I know there's feeds from Mexico on C-band on Galaxy uh, Galaxy uh, 19. Uh, there is several, um, and all 55 West, but you might be, 55 West and you, all that stuff, you might, Vancouver might be too far west. You have to look at satbeams.com and look that up. I know in the west coast it's a little trickier. Mm. 
Okay, Ginto, uh, are there FTA satellites in orbit? Are most of the stationary or mobile? Uh, well, they're all moving. <laughs> so when the satellites are, they're moving, but they're moving right above the degree spot uh, around the Earth so that it appears that the antenna uh, doesn't have to move. But it's actually moving pretty fast around the, around the planet. Enough to make me sick <laughs> if I was sitting on one of those satellites. Uh, Dan Pete says, I used to have direct TV uh, dish world, uh, direct TV world dish that came in with a uh, KULMB. I used to get 97 and 103. Yeah. So the world dishes, which use linear KU band, that's where you get into a whole, uh, it's a headache uh, trying to uh, get uh, with a dish network bell. I'm not sure about direct TV. So we can answer that. Can they just aim a direct TV dish or does it have to be modded? Certain models will work, from what I understand, with Direct TV. That's why I, in Canada, I say get a Shaw Direct dish and play around with that because it, you know, Shaw Direct has a linear KU band. Orbi TV has a linear KU band LMB. So if you want to try out Orbi, then maybe you want to later on try out uh, Free to Air. Orbi TV would probably be the best dish for that. Raymond, just just a KU band dish. Save your sanity. Uh, <laughs> you'll end up crazy like me if you get into C band, I guess. <laughs> Shaw. Shaw dishes are channel master. Patrick says yes. That's uh, who makes um, a lot of the Shaw dishes. They're pretty decently built. They're fiberglass. I got one that's broken a little bit. It still works. Um, but it might be warped off, warped a little bit, and the fiberglass is kind of like jagged on it. Kingpin asks, what do you think of uh, Frontier T90 that has capability of uh, 16 different LMBs? I didn't get it. Is that like that huge dish that uh, gets mo the whole arc on one... <laughs> Uh, they're kind of like a uh, pro, uh, shape, like rounded, more rounder shaped square dish, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, Marco Droid says the problem here in the USA: big thirty to forty inch discs uh, have are hard to come by. If you can put web pages or website accessories to buy the components. Actually, I have a website for that. Go to freesatellitetv.net and I have a little shop there. And if you go into that shop, you can, um, it'll take you to an eBay affiliate link that will sell you a, uh, that will be a place where you can find one on eBay. Another place that you can find that is, uh, I have a video about uh, how to get started in free to air. And in the uh, description of that video, I have several links on where to uh, get a uh, satellite dish. And if those links are dead links, uh, let me know and I will I will update it for you. Dan Pete says, what about driving out to Michigan? Well, not right now. I, I can't get to Michigan. I want to visit Michigan, though. Uh, I, I want to join the party when you uh, kick your uh, governor out. <laughs> Patrick says he has a uh, a shed full of dishes too. <laughs> yeah, I don't have. A, I'm not full of dishes, but it's the, what would be really cool if it was like in Inspector Gadget, where a, you know that something like where just a C-band dish is like an umbrella, boop, and it just expands out. But the wind would kill something like that. Like if you left something like that out, an umbrella reflector, <laughs> the first windy day it would be wrecked. One, uh, Pat uh, says 1.2 C-band will get a few from Mexico. I'm going to build a shed in my backyard and call it the Satellite Shack. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's like the Radio Shack. And I don't know if anyone here is into the shortwave hobby. There's uh, That's one thing I've been playing around with. And I know some people get very elaborate in shortwave radio. They can get like some large antenna arrays built around their house. Uh, same thing with amateur radio operators. I think there's more amateur radio operators than there is shortwave radio listening. I think shortwave radio listening is more of a niche. It's like something that you get on one of these things, these old SDR radios. You got my whole show and tell stuff. All right, you go. This camera is awful. I know that. It was OBS the way I set it up today. In a hurry. I'm going to take a break now, and I will turn on my uh, Discord. And uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> How do I turn on Discord? Anyway, I'll go to my free... So, yeah, if you're looking for a satellite dish... Uh, check out the free satellite TV shop, and uh, if you wanna, if you're streaming and you're in a country that's blocking you from getting all the good stuff, uh, check out this uh, ad for ExpressVPN. I think I'll have a link in the description of this video. Please check out freesatellitetv.net, and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. If you want to watch a streaming service and you're in a country like Canada, certain programs are region blocked so you can't get it, you can use Express VPN if you have a cell phone. So if you use public Wi-Fi, you tell it which uh, area you want to connect to in New York City, connect. So if you're using public Wi-Fi at Walmart, a restaurant, you really should be using a VPN. It will protect your private data and also it saves you a lot of money. It's a fraction of the cost of what a cell phone data plan is these days. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes. All sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. If you want to watch a streaming service and you're in a country like Canada, certain programs are region blocked so you can't get it, you can use Express VPN if you have a cell phone. So if you use public Wi-Fi, you tell it which uh, area you want to connect to in New York City, connect. So if you're using public Wi-Fi at Walmart, a restaurant, you really should be using a VPN. It will protect your private data and also it saves you a lot of money. It's a fraction of the cost of what a cell phone data plan is these days. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes. All sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. If you want to watch a streaming service and you're in a country like Canada, certain programs are region blocked so you can't get it, you can use Express VPN if you have a cell phone. So if you use public Wi-Fi, you tell it which uh, area you want to connect to in New York City, connect. So if you're using public Wi-Fi at Walmart, a restaurant, you really should be using a VPN. It will protect your private data and also it saves you a lot of money. It's a fraction of the cost of what a cell phone data plan is these days. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes. All sorts of things for your free-to-air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. If you want to watch a streaming service... <laughs> All right, how many times does that thing play? Okay. All right, so I'm back here and... Uh, oh, there we go. Discord is open. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's go to the chat room on Discord. I'll open up the Discord voice chat thingy. Voice channel. Yeah, click on that. Voice to activate. Hello, 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 hello. So you can hear me through Discord. Just turn down your computer. Eh? It says muted. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. <laughs> Maybe it won't let me do it. Because I, I did uh, the Discord thingy. Um, no. Maybe it's not going to work today. Because I had Discord before I opened up OBS and it worked. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can hear it, but I just can't unmute my mic. Wait. Oh, there. There. I'm unmuted on Discord. Okay, it worked that one time. This is like a chat room. Oh, yeah, I can see what's going on there. If people join me. Very nice. All right, all technical stuff. So, okay. 
Need a third screen here, I think. Uh, we're streaming here. Here, I'll put I'll put that there, and then I can kind of see this what I'm doing over here. And I'll look over here when I'm reading the comments. Pat says that uh, 1.2 C-Ben will get a few from Mexico. And I know the footprints uh, for North and uh, South America are different. I was looking at sat beams, and I was actually surprised some of the... Uh, Galaxy 19 stuff is only spot beam for the U.S., but then there's some stuff that I think they get it everywhere, anywhere where the satellite's pointed. Dan Pete says he watched the uh, wild feeds of 9-11. Yeah, definitely uh, interesting to have that, to have the, uh, the behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, that uh, when news events uh, are breaking, I really enjoy the live feeds. I usually go to the CNN news source uh, for the live feeds. They don't actually have CNN, but on 87 West, they'll have all of the feeds. So if a very important people are doing a press conference, you can watch that. Uh, White House uh, press secretary hearings and things like that, you can get that on. Uh, Usually 87 West uh, riding, <laughs> I guess, the protests and stuff like that. You get that as well. <laughs> Dan Pete says, uh, I'd like to have a big party when they kick out Whitmer, <laughs> Whitmer or whatever, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, just whenever I've seen her, she seems so evil. Like, <laughs> just, I forget, maybe because she is. How could, how, I don't know. How, but we got Justin Trudeau here in Canada. But if you want to talk about election fraud, well, maybe I'm not going to get too much into politics. It's a satellite show, but. I wonder that. When I voted um, years ago and Justin Trudeau got it, I didn't vote for Justin Trudeau, but that was a voting machine. Probably a Dominion voting machine, too. So, anyway, enough about that. <laughs> uh, James Glenn Anderson asks, uh, please comment on the prime focus antennas available from china from what i understand that the tech 2000 dishes are built in china uh there's other dishes i haven't played around with i wish i had like a large area or somebody who wanted to get one installed on their property some of the solid dishes because you tend to see more when you go on um some of these uh online retailers they have these uh Dishes that are not pole mount dishes, they're the other kind. And I'm not, I don't know much about them. Uh, be interested to play around with them. We will have a big uh, satellite uh, enthusiast convention maybe someday when uh, all this uh, COVID stuff's over and maybe we'll have, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> excuse me, like how amateur radio operators <coughs> have field day. Some of us could get together, maybe set up somebody's satellite dish and uh, or something. Pat asks. Um, uh, Patrick asks. Uh, at this point, get yourself an AM radio operator license. It's now easy to like. Broadcast on AM? And I'm wondering if uh, pirate radio is starting to go up a little bit. I heard that it was. Uh, like a shortwave radio, they, there's a lot of pirate radio stations and stuff. Dan P. I love listening to uh, AM radio at night. Uh, yeah, 
I, uh, I got one of those antennas uh, for uh, AM. It works out pretty nicely. Uh, James Glenn Anderson asks, are larger mesh dishes good for KU band? Um, yeah, but they don't really get much better signal, surprisingly, in my experience uh, with what I've, what I've used with the uh, equipment I used. Um, I found having KU band on a mesh dish, just because of how you got to tweak the LMB, was harder. And my, my prime uh, operation of uh, uh, C-band, I have a dedicated C-band LMB now. I use the Titanium C2 LMB on my uh, C-band dish. And I have four other KU band dishes and two motorized KU band dishes. So I guess because KU band dishes are easier for me to get a hold of, I use uh, I use them for the KU band stuff. And then I just use the C-band dish primarily for C-band. And I have the dish, uh, not the dish, but the LMB optimized for C-band best uh, possible. So that's how I operate mine. Uh, you can... Um, I like to get a if titanium made a CKU LMB with the titanium C1 with dual output and all that. I think I'd go with one of those, but they don't build that. So there was a few uh, transponders that were flaking out on me quite a bit. I haven't aimed at a retro TV over on 113 West in a while. I haven't been watching that because like I always found it was a spotty transponder. And with my eight foot dish, it was, I get it, but then there'd be times when I it would I'd have to be, I only had like a little bit of room for my dish to move. But when I got it, and if I moved it a little bit, I would lose it. Some days I couldn't get it at all. Loghead asks, uh, how much space on C band will the phone companies like Verizon be taking over? Um, from what I understand, they're not really taking anything away. They're just removing, they're moving some of the spectrum and there's going to be a buffer zone where they don't transmit to eliminate interference. Uh, so yeah, uh, I wait and see the thing is with all these editorials, all these, uh, articles, they're always so doom and gloom. The, this is nothing new with satellite. I, it's been around for so long. It's always as, you know, uh, they're going to shut down this and this won't be available. Or they're going to... It used to be with encryption. There was a big thing about uh, that would kill satellite because there won't be any free stuff on satellite. But there's tons of free stuff on satellite. <clears throat> I don't know. North Coast says, I'm a big fan of the unedited news feeds. They, they're they fun. They're interesting. Uh, the Starlink, Patrick Arby asks, uh, do you believe the Starlink internet dish, 10 megabytes, uh, 100 megabytes down, 20 up? 20 up would be great for me to stream because it would be faster than what I'm getting here on cable. That's because they, they want me to up pay a whole whack more to get a faster upload speed speed and i'm not doing that what is the best system for florida the best system for anywhere is c-band of the florida you probably got like a lot of good decent over the air broadcast channels uh greg bulls so it might be something you might want to look into see what you can get with over the air and look at linksat and see what's on c-band and see what's on ku band you might be able to get like um, a lot without having to bother. And, uh, and if you don't want to put up a big dish, uh, as long as you got like, that's more for people who are living in like a, uh, a town or city. Uh, you, if you got, if you live in a town city, you probably got good, reliable internet anyway. And a lot of those channels are streaming. So if you want to go check out those channels, go to Linksat. Linksat will have like a link on each channel and you can go, check out the stream every one of these tv channels web pages have like a live stream on them obviously north coast says uh i'd like to find a six foot yeah six foot would be fun to play around with even my four footer i can get surprisingly 
quite a few channels on them. I don't get everything, but I get like you'd be surprised on what you can get with one of those. And I was going to take my uh, four footer and make it a sea batten dish, but I just found that uh, some of the programming I wanted was uh, on on the satellite where I keep it parked at. So I just been keeping it there. But I might. Uh, if things change up around on satellite, I might switch it over to a sea bed dish. I probably should do that as a project uh, now that the garden, I can get in there. And me being a crazy Canadian, I <laughs> I don't mind working out. Like uh, Even today is a nice day. Um, but when winter sets in, uh, even in the winter, I've, wor- I've done work on the dish out in the winter. Uh, Delta Tech, I uh, don't know much about uh, uh, what uh, KA band. I don't know if, there, if there's a whole lot of KA band uh, channels in North America. And I imagine it's more, KA band tends to be more for like um, data, um, data links type stuff and all that, as from what I understand. And then there's C-band, which is used for broadcast. A lot of broadcasts uh, North America uses C-band because of the reliability uh, for getting things across this continent. Uh, fiber optic cable has been a game changer uh, for a lot of broadcasting. So you have seen stuff where it's actually cheaper to just send it through an internet protocol. Sinclair Broadcasting would be a great example. They're notorious for being cheap, I guess. The richest because they're the cheapest. Um Sinclair Broadcasting doesn't have any uh, their networks really in uh they don't have a uh backhauls of like Comet TV and all that. I wish they did. It'd be great. Um but a, a lot of that stuff is sent through uh fiber optic internet protocol links. <clears throat> Patrick Arby, who does a lot of satellite stuff, says that in his experience, uh, this, and this is from answering a question from a while ago, and I know there's a lag. Uh, buds are not much better, not better at KU band. Yeah, they're they're not really. You you'd be yeah you'd be surprised because of the wavelength. The C band dish is more built <clears throat> for C band for those larger wavelengths. That's why you need a larger dish. But you can use a, a KU band LMB on a C band dish. But it's the dish that's the reflector that pulls in the signal. Patrick says ham, not am. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now in my life, not interested in a ham license uh, or an amateur radio operator license. I think it's something I always have interest in. It's probably if I knew more people that were into it, I'd go get it. I think the ham license needs to be online, especially with COVID. When I wrote it, I did write the ham test, and I answered like five wrong or something like that. One of the questions was, the only people who allowed to operate a, a radio in Canada are people with an amateur radio license and authorized by Industry Canada. Anyone can use a radio apparatus. So the question was wrong, and I, and I said it was wrong, and that, that was like one of the questions I got wrong on the, uh, on the ham test, which really ticked me off. <laughs> But I wasn't going to dispute it. I was like, what the frig? <laughs> so where was I here in, the, in this here? Dylan uh, Durbin asks, I, I, I like to ask everyone, uh, what's your favorite, favorite channel? Fave. Fave for me on C-Bend? Uh, I've been watching news on, on uh, a lot. Uh, what, 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 what did I be watching on C-Band? I'm watching a lot of KU Band. But uh, the wrestling feeds is <laughs> what I... Uh, I haven't watched the Hallmark channels. And I haven't broke the news. I haven't broke the news either. If uh, um, What happened here? Oh, here, I'll close that. There you go. If I can go to the web browser, go to TVROSAT, TVROSAT, here I'll cut to the, uh, there you go, cut to this. 
So there was some news here over on TVRO Sat about new channels. I don't know if they're still up, but hey, let's uh, let's talk about that. Happy American Thanksgiving, by the way, to all my American friends. Um, another thing is, <laughs> my friend Kevin <laughs> told me, "Hey, uh, how you set up your C band dish is wrong, and you got to drill holes and put the brackets in that way." And then I was like, "Oh crap." <laughs> I got it working, but anyway, there's recommended dish installations from the Tech 2000 dishes, which I did the completely the wrong way in my video. So now, now I, I know that. Uh, Newsmax is available, but only for the Reiner satellite people, which uh, it's not worth spending a whole whack of money for a eight hundred dollars for a uh, ten year old or more outdated satellite receiver. I just, I just say get Orby and use free to air instead of something like that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Many uh, in the clear channels on 127 West. I haven't put it in my dish there and figured that out if it's there or not. Posted by Fatso uh, Rob Ford himself. <laughs> Best mayor ever. Uh, so uh, 127 West... Uh, on that transponder there, 3670 has MGN... Um, Marquee Sport, RF, Tennis, Cowboy, Revolt, all in HD. And there's another tra transpire. Just do a blind scan on 127C band. You get Justice Channel, Comedy, Recipe TV, Cars TV, Pets TV, Destination TV, uh, FMB, HTV, all in HD. And I think it's still up there from unless somebody posted different. And another place to uh, check out. Let's go to Rick's. Rick's Wild Feeds. So when I go to Rick's, what I look for is right under here, under Networks. And that's where you find, you know, where people post the new channels. Uh, I don't know. AFM Muck Scrambled. Um, Forces Network Scrambled. No kidding. It always is scrambled. 5G Movies. Uh, uh, there's something. PVU Encrypted. Hallmark Mucks. That's the one thing I knew that it was in the clear for a while was the Hallmark mucks. If you want to get into that Christmas move, uh, cheesy movie spirit, <laughs> I guess there's the uh, Hallmark channels, Duna World, Family Broadcasting Channel. I think they moved transponders or whatever over on 99 West. Anything new there? Encrypted. What went encrypted? Hallmark mucks. So apparently there. So you read this from it was posted on 25 days ago. Hallmark mucks. FTA today and it's in the clear. And another thing in satellite news is um, for at least till December 1st, Sirius Satellite Radio. Do a Google search on that. I'll do the Canada one. Sirius XM, used to be XM or whatever. They are, let's load up the page here. They're in free preview mode, mode till um, uh, December 1st. So this weekend you can enjoy it free preview. Listen to all those Elvis, Elvis tunes. What is that? Sir, oh, okay, some, something is so. You can watch Howard Stern. Ha, <laughs> So this is the interesting thing about Sirius is Orbi TV can't operate in Canada, but Sirius can in their American company, you know, probably Echo Star. They use the Echo Star satellites. Uh, I think um, the in thing, I'm, and I can't answer this question, but I wonder if if you have, was it 110 West or 107 West, the uh, Dish Network? If you have a, 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 a circular KU band dish pointed there, can you, well, I don't know if you, I don't know. Uh, I haven't tried it myself. Maybe somebody else here has one of those dishes could scan in the uh, radio channels to see if they're in the clear this weekend. I'm not sure how the Sirius, FF, uh, Sirius radio works like that, but I know it's on the same satellite as the Echo Star satellite stuff. So... <clears throat> And Raymond, 
uh, asked the question here. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what you're referring to. Anyway, Greg TKS will always have to one high percent internet. I have only one high priced internet for the internet. I can get six over the air using rooftop antenna, but fades out. Yeah. Another thing of over the air is they're looking at doing a broadcast internet. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, <laughs> maybe it'll be like something like kind of like what satellite internet was where you would dial in for your upload, but then your download would be, I don't know. KA band seems to be mostly direct TV. I think direct TV does have a KU band or a KA band uh, thing. Raymond. Uh, Pat says uh, NASA on 127 comes in strong on a four footer. That's cool to know. I think I did get it on my four footer. I'm not sure. And NASA's a go to channel. NASA 127 was a uh, satellite I parked on a lot. Um, they had NASA, and I read somewhere that Reels is back. So if Reels is back, and if it's still back, I, I, I don't know at the time of speaking this, but I heard that Reels was back. I wish Reels was on KU Ben. That would be nice. It's not what it used to be where it shows movies and all that, but... KA band, different footprint for each transponder. That's interesting, Patrick. Yeah, I guess so. It's a way of, uh, I don't know if they use that more in Europe. <laughs> Look, at, there is a site to download a 10 foot uh, dish panel template. You could build your own dish. I wish I was that uh, crafty and uh, could do a video on that. That would be pretty cool. And I've heard of people doing projects. I haven't seen pictures of them where they've done flat plywood reflectors. And I don't know. If that, I'd have to see that would work, though, to believe it. C-Band, uh, Court TV, Mystery, True Crime Network. Is that on 97 West North Coast? Oh, yeah, and the uh, Hallmark channels are encrypted again on 110 West, I think it was. 110 West is another satellite that has a lot of good channels. It has MeTV. It has uh, Heroes and Icons. So if you want the DigiNets, I would say 110 West is... 110? No, 101 West. Sorry, I misspoke. SES... I think it's SES2. Right, one of the One of them... Oh, links that pulled up here. Um, but anyway, 110, uh, 101 West has uh, has MeTV. It has, um, yeah, it has uh, Decades and uh, a few other, a uh, bunch of other channels. And Hallmark is encrypted again. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Patrick says, K.A. Ben is a wannabe beam form forming technology, a lot, a la 5G, but not for sat. True Crime Network comes in well on a four-footer. What uh, satellite is True, Cri True Crime on? Is that 97 West? <clears throat> Uh, AFM channels. They could have been in the clear for a while. Mark Sanquist. Uh, it would be nice. Well, uh, uh, but yeah, they're vo every time I go look at them, they're encrypted. There's a one channel that was uh, unencrypted for a while. They like there was like a, um, a bar Tony Bars channel. <clears throat> All the same actors, too, says Raymond. Linkset is my go-to website 
when blind scanning in the dark. Yeah, I pretty much go to Linksat still. I tried uh, Sat Hint for a bit. But Linksat, the problem with Linksat is once it's up there, I think I sent them an update. I don't know if uh, they gave me credit for it or not. Um, I forget what I told them about. Anyway, Linksat will give people credit if they email them and report stuff. But the thing about Linksat is they don't always take things down right away. TVROSAT.net does have some uh, some uh, charts, but uh, it doesn't list Galaxy 19's KU band lineup as well, which is always a tough one to go through. I went through Galaxy 19 this week, just like basically scan, did a blind scan and then just checked to see what channels what were there. Because sometimes uh, the title of the channel is different than what's uh, what's on it, but it seemed like a lot of the same stuff was there. But sometimes you get like this hidden gem uh, out of it. Uh, there's a new religious channel in HD called Victory. I think that's fairly new. I don't know if it's like I think it's Kenneth Copeland's. Well, I had Kenneth Copeland's wife. Uh, preaching and uh, they do like news stuff um, so there's been that uh, on uh, Galaxy 19 and they give more of a Christian perspective news there's also TBN uh, has that and then they have uh, the 700 clubs news channel which also is on CBN but they play it on some of the um, uh, Christian channels on uh on uh, Galaxy 19. It's 97 West, yeah. Ginto asks, uh, does a bigger dish... Uh, does a bigger dish always mean you will improve your quality? Uh, yeah, it will. Hallmark, 101 West. Yeah. Sorry, I'm throwing off here. Uh, Patrick says those crafty hillbilly dishes work work on the equator only. <laughs> I guess it was a flat, really? That's interesting. Which provider is Info Channel? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, it's secret information. We don't want <laughs> people complaining. <laughs> Says BBC. Look on Kijiji or Craigslist to find out free C band dishes. Lots of people will be happy to have you remove them in your yard and put an ad out there. Yep. Uh, I did that for year for well not years but for a period of time when I was looking for a dish that's how I got Black Beauty the big <laughs> ugly it was like uglier than a mesh dish and um, somebody posted uh, I don't think there was a picture so I went out to the site and I looked at Black Beauty and I was like oh <laughs> because first thing I drove there in a Suzuki Swift which is like a little hatchback. My thinking was I was going to get a secondhand satellite dish. This is before Tech 2000 was selling dishes. I think there's a few years or just right when they were opening. And uh, and anyway, I was looking to get a cheap secondhand dish to start. And uh, first, like I was thinking, well, I, you could take apart the dish in, into pieces and throw it in the back of my car. Uh, but this thing I couldn't. It was like a solid cast aluminum eight foot dish and uh so the guy had a truck he wanted to get rid of it so he actually drove it across the city hog tied it to the back of his truck and black beauty went went for a ride i was like hopefully that thing doesn't hold up fall off his truck because it was eight foot and it was like hanging off his truck you know i'm surprised no one he didn't sideswipe anyone or whatever and we carried it and dropped it in my backyard <laughs> <laughs> and I had to plant the pole in the ground and uh, eventually we got that going. <sighs> mm. 
North Coast has taken them down down himself. He's been collecting dishes. If I had a big property, <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever have, get the opportunity to move out to the country. I can see myself, if I moved out to the country, I, w- I would buy a yard just like to put like, I don't know how many dishes can I fit in here? Like I would, I would and just for you guys to make videos about this. Okay. Here's what a 10 foot. Here's how many, how much signal gain I get on my 10 footer. Here's how much signal gain I get on an eight footer. And here's how much signal I got six and, and, it, and a four. Cause I got a four and uh, that would be fun experimentation stuff that I would be really into. So yeah, I have a pay, I have a PayPal a, a donate account here on my YouTube channel. If you want to throw me a few bucks, if enough a million of you give me a dollar, <laughs> I could uh, I could set up a, a large out in the country satellite facility for testing. Mark uh, Sandquist uh, says, 99, uh, the info, quote, news channel AJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's uh, there's that, but there's also Owen Schroyer and uh, and David Knight. And there was um, the evening version. They were, doing, they were broadcasting in the evenings as well. Uh, with, with oh gosh, what, what's the lady's name there? Um, from uh, she moved from California to Texas there. Uh, but now that the election's over, they're not doing an evening. Uh, it's like a replay of the uh, AJ show. That's what at what time at uh, eight o'clock or seven o'clock, eight o'clock. I see. I watch. Uh, a lot of my news, I watch a lot of news, so I have that on during the day, but I'm down here scrambling, working on a video if I can, if I don't have other just, you know, stuff to do with, uh, with. but if I am able to work on videos, I kind of have that on, and I'll listen to that, maybe while editing, just to see what's going on, and monitor that. So that's why I'm probably watching a lot of that right now. I'm not really sitting and watching, like, the oldie TV shows. I, don't know, I feel like I, I want to keep working on videos and uh, and that takes a lot of time uh, during the daytime. So I'm not sitting and watching TV because like broadcast TV, I hate broadcast TV like for the what's on broadcast TV, like more the more Provage and, you know, like judge show crap, you know, that, all that stuff. I don't care about that. That's on the networks. But what I do like, uh, I do like the retro shows and I like news and with ATSC three, will we see a free news channel? Will a Newsmax or uh, America Online News or something like that go over the air and reach a distribution as a sub channel? Because that's one thing with uh, over the air DigiNets is uh, there's no there's no news channel. Uh, there used to be regional news channels, but I think they were for cable and things like that. Oh, Infowars is a uh, is a sub channel on small broadcasters. That's part of the reason why there's a satellite for uh, for uh, that. It was because it is a uh, for Galaxy 16 because there is a few broadcasters that carry it as a sub channel, and there's a few cable systems that are small cable systems uh, that carry it. Victory, Pat um, says, uh, Victory comes in great on a four-footer. I, I th- oh, yeah, okay. It's called Victory now? Because is that 101 or 99 West? Because I know it's on Galaxy 19. Um, uh, it is in HD. Um, and and uh, CNC World was 720p or something like that. It was, it was a higher quality, but then now it's gone. Good question, uh, Ginto Ki Uh Where does FTD, FTA providers get their funding to broadcast their channels? Uh, some of them get from uh, state funding. Some people have backers, you know, and Patreons and stuff like that that uh, do help carry it. Some of the international channels. RT, I'll give you an example. It's uh, paid for by the Russian government. Pays uh, uh, the Uplinker, which uh, pretty much, what was the company... Um, sat something sat. If you go on Linksat, it tells you the provider uh, right on Linksat, and and the headlines here. I'll, I'll uh, and full screen this guy. Okay. Uh, if I go to Linksat, I know I can look it up. 
Now it's Google. Ninety-seven. Here, I'll cut to the uh, links out here. So I'll just Google links at. Google is your friend, by the way. If you're uh, looking for satellite information, try googling it. Try going or try going to YouTube. Type my name, Robbie Strike, and then type the topic you're looking for. That's what I do when people ask me questions. I'm like, I have a video on that. Let me look it up. Type in my name, I type in the topic, and I send them a link. Now, I'm looking at... Um, doesn't say all the time. I thought it said something about the uplinker. No, it might be sat hint. Let me go to try out sat hint. Okay. So I'm looking at Galaxy Nineteen on Sat Hint. And sometimes I th oh wait, here we go. Global com uh, global communications network. So when I put over uh, this part here on Sadhin, it tells you the uh, the company that will uh, is the uplinker that takes care of that. So for this one here, three ABN. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. TBN Russia. Okay, TBN Russia is on the uh, the seven day Adventist uh, mux the LBN stuff. Uh, global communications network. Um, there is Global Cast is another big one. Uh, they do a lot of uplinking. I think Global Cast does raw. When I uh, sometimes when I scan in raw, you'll scan in a wild feed and it'll say Global Cast. So stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So BVON here is it must be is if it's a newer transponder because it is an HD UATV no logo. I don't know what UATV is. Sometimes what you do there is you just go to the link. And you can see what's on there. Uh, a few radio stations as well. There's one guy uh, having issues. I like you couldn't get it back, and then the, somebody just told him to um, do that. So anyway, this is how you find out what um, the provider is. Now a lot of the providers on uh, Galaxy 19 are Globalcast, Knowledge Network. At least from what I understood, or you know, R Sat is another company. That does that. If you Google these companies, you might be able to find them. There's Pittsburgh International Telecommunications. They're a big one that do a lot of uplinking. Globalcast. Uh, yeah, so Russia Today is Globalcast. Um, Pittsburgh in the International Technologies. They do uh, um, some of the international channels. There's the MTA um, channels. It doesn't say there what uh, the uplinker is. <clears throat> but kind of interesting to, to look at um, the companies that actually do uplink. Uh, no. No, I won't put my, my preview over here. No, there. So anyway, I hope I didn't miss any uh, comments here. I was just going through the uh, uh, sat hint. BBC60, are you joking with me, man? Are C-band dishes those giant ones? Uh, I've seen people paint murals on them. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're C-band is like a large dish. Yeah, uh, thanks, Mark. Mark answered him. Patrick says, I harvested uh, great 10 foot dishes back in 2006 and put pizza on part on top of my car. I've seen some interesting paintings on satellite dishes. Uh, 
Uh, Ginto says, my neighbor has a huge uh, 12-foot dish in the backyard that he never used. Ginto also says, sometimes you can't enter as much comments on, uh, discussion on here. When you have all those satellites, someone asks you who wants uh, you want that for, uh, you tell them you're looking for aliens. I do tell people, uh, <laughs> I do tell people, I'm more like just people at my church, I use my satellite dish to get uh, uh, transmissions off of an extraterrestrial spacecraft that is flying above my house, which is partially true. <laughs> <laughs> broadcast tv is out of control yeah it's, it's not much i don't know like uh, i don't go out of my way too much to watch broadcast tv i watch youtube i'm, I'm, I'm on youtube a lot like I, I watch videos where they talk about retro computers i like that i think that's interesting i want to create a tech channel for galaxy 19 that's my dream that's why i want mil uh mil if i had millions of dollars but but I probably want to do it for if I won like a fifty million dollar lottery. <laughs> yeah, the news there. We got like uh, global news here, and it's just it's gone downhill big time. Well, I mean, if you're like a church, how these free to air channels are funded, uh, churches are able to, f like, uh, uh, Kenneth Copeland's able to get enough money to put his channel on the air. And who are the other, you know, these other, but they're built, they're millionaire preachers and they got lots of backing behind them, that's for sure. Go partners, uh, Mark says, yeah, go go partners with Eric and get your own uh, on 90 Cent. I wonder how much it costs. Depends on how big a bat data you're doing. And it actually costs you more uh, for um, MPEG-4. They charge a uh, premium for MPEG-4. But it's the way to go with MPEG-4 because you can get a even like a 720p uplink channel. I mean, I, I don't care about HD. I, I'm not, you know... Uh, I, I don't think that's like the most important thing. And a lot of the cable and satellite subscription channels is like uh, the HD is not the greatest quality HD either. Even streaming is not great quality HD. They're trying to, you know, save their bandwidth and have it compressed. But then people say, well, on, you know, Disney Plus is HD or whatever. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan McKee is on. How's it going? Robbie and Eric Tyler would be awesome. We do have YouTube, and uh, myself and Eric are on um, Bitch, uh, BitChute, which is another streaming uh, platform. Which uh, we, I don't have all my videos on BitChute. Uh, I was hoping to do that. Mines does uh, back up my videos, but it do, it's kind of like BitChute. It's not the best interface. Same thing with Mines. Uh, what I like about Minds is it's it's Facebook like because uh, Twitter sucks. <laughs> Twitter just sucks. I use Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I'm Robbie Strike Three on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter, but I only got like, like 90 people following me on Twitter. You know, like on Facebook, I got a thousand. You know, because it's Facebook. People use Facebook. Who uses Twitter? Twitter sucks. It's uh, self-important celebrities use you or people want to be celebrities. Like me, uh, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a, uh, are on Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. I'm not a fan of Twitter, but Minds. I like Minds because it's copying Facebook. You know, I wish Bitshoot would copy YouTube a little bit more. Like just on how not 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 in their policies of banning people or anything like that, but um, copy how technically they work. Uh, I like how Facebook works. Technically, how Facebook works, and that's what I love about Facebook. Uh, do I think that they are going too far with their censorship and having uh, fact checkers that are very left wing fact checkers like uh, a AFP and all that when you know you get these very one sided uh, uh, ends of fact checking? So, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> 
Jonathan McKee. Eric does the CB radio station. Robbie does Silent Channel, and Tyler does the Over the Air Antenna Channel. <laughs> Although Eric does do a um, uh, the Midnight Cafe, which is another channel that he's doing separately. I should call him. Uh, I want to call him sometime, but it's, it's at one of those times when I don't live stream because it's like right when my kids would be getting ready for bed or, or something like that. Um, but uh, he does like uh, the poor man's version of Coast to Coast AM. And he's very, very good at that. And uh, I, I've been checking out some of those streams when he's uh, not doing that. So check out his channel there, the Midnight Cafe. Uh, that when we're talking about uh, Eric over at Farpoint Farms that we had on here before, and talking about he talks about CB radio. He also has recently got an MLA 80 antenna, which I think he'll be doing some videos on as well. That's what I use for shortwave radio reception. But I got one of these. I got the Edison. Oh, you can't see the Edison here. The Edison. And uh, the, on the Edison satellite receiver, basically all those channels that you hear on shortwave, like uh, all, all the preachers and stuff, you can hear them on Galaxy 19 uh, <laughs> without having to uh, uh, get that staticky sound of shortwave radio. It, it comes and goes. Oh, uh, yeah. You can broadcast on rare, really old school analog slow scan TV. This is the tech use of the Apollo first missions. They didn't have a camera on there. I guess it was slow scan. I have a picture. Uh, well, you can Google it. Google images or quant. Use quant. Uh, quant images of the satellite dish uh, the, the, or the communications dish, dish that they used on the moon. Where they, um, I think they might have used that for the relay satellite, or the relay because when they went to the moon, they would, uh, they had a relay satellite on the moon, orbiting around the moon, that they would use uh, for the relay. Mm, I'm trying to get caught up in my comments here. Did I uh, freeze that up? I don't know. SETI project, yes. Yeah. Search for extraterrestrial life, like in the movie The Arrival with uh, with uh, Charlie Sheen, where he used a whole bunch of C-band satellite dishes to uh, <laughs> because he couldn't have access to a big one of the big radar dish antennas. So he, they repositioned uh, way out in the sky and linked into his computer. This is like the early 1990s. Oh, someone asked about that. In hot water, have you ever seen the arrival? They, um, have you ever done any amateur ra radio? Oh, because the Christmas tree's there. Did this thing freeze up on me? Oh, okay, there's just like a little gap in the video. The connection says it's not so good, but... And how am I doing for time? Overtime? I've gone over today. Did I go over? Yes, I'm almost two hours into this live stream. Really? That long? Yeah, yeah right there on OBS it says I'm one, uh, one hour, 43 minutes. And I always say that I'm going to do it for an hour. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, oh, yeah, I got to do ending, which is, dude. No one called in. I don't have uh, Trevor calling in today. He's busy, though. Uh, let's see here. Properties. There. I was going to fix this. I messed up my ending. Uh, out. Out. Outro. Where's my outro? So I'm doing my own uh, video production, like live on air here. Outtake. Oh, okay. I had that one. 
Okay, I'll end with the uh, the uh, cat attacking meme in the backyard while trying to do a video outtake. And then I'll go to the ending. <laughs> Why not, eh? Yeah, the, I was doing this video. The neighbor's cat. It's not my cat. They have this beautiful orange cat, though. He's he, And he's very friendly. He, he's very friendly to my kids. And uh, video outro. There we are. I'll make that my ending. Hopefully that works. Last time I tried it, didn't work. And so I got my outro all set up. And I'm going to big screen this guy here. Okay, there. Yeah, I think people are starting to leave now too. So yeah, I'm going to go go for a walk and finish up this live stream here. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, uh, chatting with me about satellite. And uh, we talked a little bit about the news. So if you are... Uh, not a member of my North American free to air satellite uh, communications. Um, uh, find me on Facebook for North America. If you're not in North America, but you want to chat with us, you, uh, you can, but I have questions there to keep the riff raft out. Some of the riff raft, there's several uh, Facebook groups for, free, uh, for satellite TV, but a lot of people are uh, going to those groups and are promoting, uh, piracy um, stuff. So I'm trying to avoid that being spammed in my group. So that's why I ask, you know, are you in, Nor do you live in North America? So give me some kind of an explanation of why you'd like to join. Probably would be a good, uh, something that would help you get into the group if you're not from the North American area. But what I don't like is when people say, yes, I'm from North America and I look at your profile and you're not from North America. <laughs> So yeah, uh, find me over at free uh, hashtag free satellite TV. Probably see my file, uh, smiling face if you would, if you do a search for that. Um, free satellite TV .net. There's a shop there with affiliate links that can point you. I have Amazon and eBay stuff pointed there. Uh, you can pick up um, a, a satellite dish there or go to um, Tech 2000. Even if you do get a secondhand dish, but you need to get a few brand new parts, you can go through Tech 2000. Uh, North Coast says it doesn't show up on my uh, scroll here yet, uh, but uh, I'll I'll watch local news on antenna TVO sometimes. I can't get TV Ontario in this area though. I probably would watch it. Uh, I probably would watch um, the evening programming, and they used to have movies at night. I don't know if they do that as much anymore. <clears throat> uh, watch the agenda of Steve Pagan, but I know I can stream that as well. On TV Ontario, TVO. Not that I, I agree with them, but I mean, they do talk about local matters and stuff like that. And I don't think they're as bad as CBC Radio. And from what I understand is TV Ontario is funded by Ontario. It's part of the Ontario Educational Fund. At least that's how it started, <clears throat> if things have changed yeah, so that's another one that I think that should be over the air in my area, which is, it is, but I have to take my antenna, which is going to, well, put my finger, so my antenna is pointed that way to Syracuse, because I can get channels there, I'd have to point it that way and lose all, pretty much lose just about everything, well, I'd still get CKWS, uh, and then fix it on to Global, they cut down their trees down here, so maybe that'll work now. So that's how I can get TV Ontario. It should be on KU Band Satellite, if you ask me. All the PBS stuff is on KU Band. And same thing with uh, BC Knowledge. Well, BC Knowledge, I can get. I pretty. I think I can still get it with my Shaw Direct uh, satellite receiver, uh, even if it's unactivated. Uh, I used to be able to get uh, BC Knowledge uh, CTV2 out west somewhere. And you could get, um, but I, they might have shut them off. I'm not sure. Um, shopping channel. I wonder if this page is uh, gone. Kapoo. Because I'm not seeing anyone chat in the chat room here. And my video looks like it's frozen over. I did a refresh, but I'm not seeing any more of the comments. Anyway, 
thank you so much for joining me. So check out this uh, outtake. I was just minding my own business and trying to uh, talk about satellites and do a uh, satellite TV explain video. And then this happened to me. This cat attacked me. Anyway, I'll chat with you next time uh we'll probably we'll do a live stream next week uh maybe the following week or the week after that i will post it on my facebook page i try to get it at least uh the night before um so check out my uh facebook page um i think if you go to robbystrike.com it'll, it'll go to my facebook page yeah that's where i pointed for i use facebook as my web page hosting and you can find me there Anyway, have a great day. Hello, Robbie Strike here. I'd like to talk about Free to Air Explained. So there is different bands on Free to Air Satellite. As you can see over here, I have a eight foot mesh C band dish. It might be like what people call the big, the old big black satellite, satellite dishes. dishes. That, that dish, dish can, can receive, receive C. I've been attacked, I've been attacked by, by a cat. <laughs> been attacked by, by a cat. cat. You're, 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 you're very, very affectionate. affectionate. I'm, the I'm the star. I like dishes. I like dishes. That, that dish, dish can, can receive C. I've been attacked, I've been attacked by, by a cat. I like, I like dishes. Like dishes. That, that dish, dish can, can receive C. I've been attacked by a cat. I like dishes. That dish dish can receive C. I've been attacked by a cat. I like I like dishes. That dish dish can receive C. I've been attacked, I've been attacked by, by a cat. I like, I like dishes. That dish, that dish can, can receive receive C. I've been attacked, I've been by, attacked a cat. by a cat. <laughs> this is what the this world needs more hot air. Hot air. some channels in South America. I'm getting some wind here. I don't think that's... So please check, check out my YouTube, YouTube channel, Robbie Strike, Strike, and check, check out all the technology videos and reviews that I've done covering satellite, free-to-air, cell phone, how to do stuff in Linux, how to do stuff in shortwave and old technology and doing needle things with computers.